wasn't gonna film today. Was not planning on doing this at all, but I just did my first ever test for my nursing. And by the time you're watching this, I've probably done heaps, but because I'm quite ahead with my videos at the moment. But anyway, I just did my first ever test and I feel like it went really well. I felt really confident with it and I just, I'm like in a really good mood and just wanted to spend some time putting some positive vibes into this video. So we're having a drink to celebrate. If you would like to pause and celebrate with me, please, by all means, do so. <sighs> yeah. So I wanted to share with you some tips for sleep because I was having some trouble with some, with some sleep, with sleeping. <laughs> anyway, I was having trouble with sleeping when I first started my nursing course and my psychologist, bless her, I'd be lost without her. Um, she sort of shared some insight as to why that was. And I was like, well, Linda, come on, man. I am doing everything right. I am drinking my herbal tea before bed. I am doing my meditation. I am exercising. I'm eating well. Why am I not sleeping? So here are some sleepy tips for you to get a better night of shadow eye, okay? Tip number one. Especially prevalent right now because a lot of us have had our work home lives just conveniently smooshing together haven't we like there's not really that work home life separation because a lot of us are working or studying from home so what we're gonna do to help us sleep is break up our day and like sort of make a cut between work and home life. So one of the things Belinda said to me is you're not sleeping because you've got that much crap going on in your head because you're not stopping. You're finishing class at six, you're then doing work and activities until seven, you're eating, you're chilling on the couch and you're going straight to bed. You're not giving yourself any anything to go, no, I'm at home now. I get to relax now. Your body doesn't know. So it doesn't know to start winding down. So you need to give it something that tells it to do that. So the thing that she suggested, which as you can imagine, I was thoroughly unimpressed with, was cardio. Well, she said that studies have shown only five to 10 minutes of high intensity cardio can make a difference and it can really start to burn off some of that nervous sort of energy that you've got. And I think we've all got a bit of that at the moment, don't we? So yeah, when you finish work or you finish school, whatever it is that you're doing, go and run on the treadmill for five minutes. And if you think about that, right? Five minutes, it's only like two songs or a very short Metallica song, depending on your vibe, okay? Another thing that I just got that I'm really excited about is a punching bag. So I can do a bit of both. I can do like some punching, I can, you know, just like get out there in the garage where I've got my little setup or if you are able to and you have weather that permits you to go for a run around the block. Like it doesn't have to be huge, just like a little bit, literally five minutes of your time to burn off some nervous energy. It could just be like literally jumping and star jumps and that kind of cardio. Like look up on YouTube. There's plenty of really short cardio things that you can do on YouTube. So just to literally burn some adrenaline and like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't need to explain to you, you got this. Whew, she needs to measure, but she doesn't <laughs> every time. Limiting your screen time before bed. How often do we climb into bed thinking, I'ma read my book tonight and we don't. We play fishdom. So, mm, limit your screen time. And if you guys are like Laurie and I, who watch a TV show in the lounge room and then go one more in bed, yeah, let's do one more in bed. Um, don't do that. <laughs> Cut yourself off, go to bed, start to wind down. If you are gonna play on your phone, what Laurie and I have started to do, which has been quite nice, is we take our chamomile tea, another tip, into the bedroom with us and we will play on our phone while we listen to a podcast. 
and it's nice because like although you might be like looking at your phone and that blue light is doing its thing don't you worry you're not like overstimulated by a TV show or something like normally interviewee type podcasts are pretty cruisy so it just kind of makes you feel you know you set the tone you turn the light off you put your lamps on maybe a candle got your tea take your vitamins you know like you really set that tone and it allows you to start to gradually wind down Have a chamomile tea or you can get specific sleep teas from the supermarket you can probably get them from tea too i don't know i don't venture there very often because i'm not all that into teas and they damn expensive so whatever floats your tea boat do that feels good calms the soul you know Funny story about chamomile tea. While we're here, we'll just do a little bit of a story time. So my gramps, a couple of years ago when my grandma was in hospital, so gramps stayed here because we're an hour away from where they live and this is where the hospital is that she was in when she had surgery and everything. So he stayed here and he had an awful night's sleep. As you can imagine, your wife nearly died. Like, oh, you're waiting to hear. Like, it was very, very stressful. So he had a terrible night's sleep. So that night I said to him, all right, Grants, I'm gonna give you some tea and I want you to drink it. And it was chamomile because I wanted him to have a good night's sleep. And he had like two sips of it and he spat it into his cup and he said, that tastes like possum's piss. And I was like, Gramps, it's good for you, drink it. And I'm a grandpa's girl, so he knows better than to fight with me. So he drank it. The next morning I said to him, how's your sleep, Gramps? He goes, oh, I slept like a log. I was out like a light, slept like a baby. And then I was like, did you? And he went, like the realization hit him of why he slept so well. So now, bless him with what we've just been through with grandma going into care. Obviously we're going through a bit of stress in our family with that at the moment. He's been drinking his chamomile tea every single night and it warms my heart. <sighs> and he says to me one night, I've had my chamomile tea, Sammy, so I'm, I'm a bit, you know, dopey. Like I'm always dopey, but I'm a bit dopier than usual. I'm like, yeah, I feel you, Gramps. Now, this is like one of the ones that really just went, oh, to me when Belinda told me about this. Cause I'm like, why my meditations normally work? Like they normally put me to sleep like a light. I don't normally hear the end of them. And she's like, yeah, but you're not doing your cardio, which yeah, okay. But you've also got a lot of stuff going around in your mind. So what you need to do is journal, do your freestyle writing, do a brain dump, just like start writing about like today I had toast and just everything will come out just organically you don't have to like you can look for journal prompts if you need to there's tons of them on the internet pinterest and stuff but you don't need that it will just all come out and it will be not in your head anymore it'll be on the paper and you'll always be super surprised at how much crap is in your head that you're thinking about or you're worrying about that you didn't know even like a to-do list for the day the next day because sometimes you'll be like laying there thinking oh no I didn't do that or like I need to do that I need to do this whatever so like put that crap on the paper then do your meditation smiling mind app is my favorite app for meditation so I do recommend that they're nice and short and they don't sound douchey so give that a go there's a whole sleep series what more could you want and there's a stress series at the moment they've uh, develop that during coronavirus, which I find very helpful. Very good. Give it a go. Just give it a go. If you've never tried it before, just give it a go. There's no right or wrong way. No right or wrong. You can't do it wrong. You can do it. Eat a smaller meal at tea time or dinner time, whatever you call it. I call it tea. So that when you lay in bed, you don't have that like full tummy feeling because sometimes that can make you feel like you're not ready for bed as well. And on that note, I just want to give a massive shout out to one of my subscribers, Sarah, who has her own business as a nutritionist and it is called Intentional Nutrition. I will link her Instagram below and I'll put a logo up on the screen for you. I'm sure I've probably already done that. But anyway, I wanted to give a shout out to Sarah. She, I had an appointment with her to go over like my eating. I just sort of wanted to really clean up my diet and get some pointers because, because I eat vegan and I'm doing it specifically to control 
a hormonal based illness that I have, all of the like way that I eat and what I've learned and the knowledge is all just like my own research. So I felt pretty confident that I was doing the right thing, but man, it was so good to just like run it all over with someone who actually has a qualification and knows what she's talking about. And she was able to give me these awesome tweaks to make me get more out of my diet and to get the most out of my food. Because I know we all eat because we want the pleasure of the food or the comfort or whatever, but the primary reason that we eat is to fuel our body. And if we're not feeling great, that could be one of the reasons why. So, yeah. What I loved about Sarah is that she was very like holistic. She wasn't a one size fits all, like you need to have meat and three veg. She was like, how do you eat? Cool, what do you enjoy about how you eat? Let's make it work for you. And I loved that. And that was sort of one of the reasons that I'd never seen a nutritionist or a dietitian before because I thought that they were going to try to force me to eat things that I didn't want to eat <laughs> or I didn't like. And she asked me, what do you like and what do you dislike? And it was just awesome. And I got a lot out of it. And I would highly recommend if you want some pointers, just go and follow her Instagram. She makes really good videos with good pointers and stuff like that in them anyway. Um, so you should follow her regardless of if you are going to make an appointment with her anyway. But please check her out and say hi for me. Thank you, Sarah. So yeah, those are my tips and tricks for getting a better night's sleep. If you like this video, share with your friends, put it in the group chat, you know what to do. And I will see you in my next video. Subscribe as well. <laughs> I need to write this out. <laughs> see you guys. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Bye.